Okay, kit review time, something a little bit different. What we got down here is uh, something myself and John at Models Argo spoke about some time ago. He asked me if I'd ever used it. I said, no. Um, he said, I'll send you some, have a play with them, see how you get on. This is what we're talking about. What we have here, these are um, basically uh, like a, you wouldn't call them a scribing, they're like a deburring uh, tool. What you actually get is a very small, oops, how do we get in here? Sorry, it's obviously a, gonna be peeling from the top. <clears throat> okay, there we go. And then there's our little guy down here. What we've actually got is a piece of, I presume it is steel. Okay which one would assume it would cut itself out of the thing, which is, I suppose, you're probably talking around about half a millimeter thick, okay? It's very, very strong, okay? The idea with it is, as you can see on the back of the instructions, you can use it for scrape cleaning a lot of your surfaces, okay, instead of sanding them. Now, we've all done it traditionally with a blade of a knife, so poor old Buster gets another workout. So what we're talking about is this type of situation where if you had a seam line here, you could come along with your knife and you literally scrape down it through the multiple layers of paint, okay, and get into it that way. The trouble when you do that, obviously, is though you're causing a flat spot. Then you traditionally come along with your sanders and all the rest of it to re-round it off. The idea with these guys is though, is that because they're on a curve, okay, depending on which tool you've got, but you can do different angles. So this one, we've got a curved one. So it's not gonna dig in as much, okay? So it will go along and clean up those joints and give you a slight curve at the same time. Now, depending on the particular tool, to be honest, we've got two here. So let's have a look at this one. This one's a little bit better for it, okay? Now, these are actually made by a company called um, Alec, okay, made in Japan. This is, I've got two of them here. The numbers we've got here for both of these is uh, ALK25 and ALK39, okay. Um, I don't know, uh, sorry, let's get the other one out. Right, this is number 25. I'm gonna sharpie this, otherwise we're gonna forget. This is 25, okay, K25, K. Two, five, okay. That's just so I can remember which one's which. Okay, K25 is got the the more rounded curves to it, okay? So this is probably better for this type of thing we were just doing, all right? So you've got various different sizes, so you can come along, match the one you want, okay? And then go in, that's something down here. Probably need to be a bit bigger than that one for down here. But you can roughly get it to be a very nice curve and then obviously depending on the thickness you're on coming up here for the top okay you can come along and use the thinner ones but what it's doing is making a very nice clean and it is rounded it's not flat at all which is really really nice so okay what practical uses have you got for this obviously center seams like that really what we're talking about though it could be very practical is things like, and I've got one here, quite handy. Okay, I've got a little weapons uh, set down here that needs to be doing. So, you know, you can use your line of sight to see how this is gonna be. That's probably gonna be a good one, but I wanna go a little bit shallower because I don't wanna scratch out my detail all around it. But for instance, uh, if we just do this one in here, you can go along and amazingly, that works so well. It's one of those things, that I, it's the first time I've used it, it's obviously just come out of the packet. But you can see, did a cracking job, and it's not flat. There's no flatness to that whatsoever. So obviously I've got the little nick I need to take out and clean out. So if we just take those off to make this a bit easier to do. Now I'm not saying this is gonna, you know, not take out your surface detail and all the rest of it, because quite clearly it obviously is. But what it is doing, when you find the right size, and it's easy just to come along and pop them on and see what it is. But once it's on there like that, you can actually then start to you know, and obviously I've got detail up here in the way, so I'm just gonna go down to this one. But because it's on a curve, it does. And this, there's no bend or flex in these guys whatsoever, okay? So they're really, really handy for doing this. And I'm just wondering if you could possibly chisel with them. You can, so you can literally just push them along as well if you want to, but you know, on this edge of cleaning up like this, and then obviously we're coming for a tighter one. 
as you can see they do an absolutely brilliant job so you know this is one of those tools I think actually will come in really really handy okay and then here's a good example because we've got it's not center at all okay and let's just use this guy this one's more but you can probably see the fleck build up as you go through and I'm not saying it's not going to destroy all your detail around it because quite clearly it's scrape cleaning but what it does do very well is make one a mess okay but secondly as you can see there it's taken out that seam completely which is really really clever I must admit it's one of those things you told you think well, I don't know will it work for the phone where it comes into its own like say you know imagine this is a pipe work you're doing something else like that again you get your right size you want to use so easy job of placing up that is the one and then and again completely gone no problem at all so as you say your practical applications for it for doing curved surfaces are very good it saves you having that flat thing of getting in there and i do it a lot and you see me doing it a lot scraping through with a curved surface it gives you the better curve so you're not having that flat type of situation this other one which wasn't k29 which must be i'm going to mark it this is going to be k39 okay this guy here if you look at him has got pick him up even as you can see we've got 90 degree angles on here we've got a curve here you've got an angle down here and to be honest on the old instructions I'm sure it said it did it's got what curves are what so where are we it must be that way up as it's showing so it's saying down here we've got a 90 degree curve at the top okay we've got small 90 degree curves in here this one down here we've got a 0.15 on a curve okay 35 degree angle down in here it's a nice touch then you've got this is one millimeter thick that's 1.5 on a curved edge as well okay 135 on this one got a 90 degree right angle down here 135 degree down there and then as we make our way up you've got a corner obviously it's 90 degrees 135 they seem to like those a lot okay and then we're coming up 90 degrees then you've got a 75 uh, uh, radial on that one and a 120 okay as you go right the way around so you know if you're doing things like and I think it shows it on one of these as you can see down here doing it on the tiny little details on edges on round work on wheels and things like that does come in extremely well I think it's one of those tools where you'd be surprised how much you use it personally I think he's gonna need a bit of filler in there but you can see what I mean you can put them in and actually do them and these thin ones as well you know he's saying obviously about dropping them in so if you have got something thin and it's 1.5 mil you can go in there and it will get a curved edge so what I'm imagining is um, I'm sure we're gonna scrap in here if we just give this to the test what we're saying is if you've got a flat edge technically you can drop this in and just so happens I have some 1.5 and it should round the end off so if we do a bit of this, and if I carry on to the end, what it will do, he says, hoping, it's going to round it off, and it has. That is so clever. So this here, instead of it being flat and square, by using this tool, because it's got a curve on the end here, this little bit of curve here, by janking it on here and going for it, it's actually curved it off. Now if we do this small one, which there we go and it has thinned it and rounded this complete edge off this is totally smooth this corner now so there's no actual right angle curve to it it's actually a dome top as is clear the rubbish off the end of this guy which is a very nice touch so if you did want to have something you know small you're working with small parts and then you're going to be assembling them it will be quite a handy tool but i do like how it's made it's really strong there's no flex to it when you're pulling down it's not bending and obviously if that was to happen it would just it wouldn't work at all it needs to be something rigid obviously i presume this is steel um, but it is very very nice tool it works really well i can understand the reasons for using it like for instance if you wanted to you can use it as for doing your right angles and putting them in so we have there we go that's sharp again now that corner we put the right angle back in you know and these guys that can come up here and one would assume we can do that bit and there we go we've made a square edge on there where this is round very clever i must admit
So it's one of those tools that I think at the time, don't know, give it a whirl. And now I've got one, I'm thinking, brilliant, everyone should have one. Now, the bad bit is, because obviously it is a bit of steel, it isn't cheap. Now these work out at £10.25. So it's £10.25 for that, which let's face it, it probably was on a giant sheet and went bang and punched out. Um, so, but you know, I couldn't make one, so it makes it cheap <laughs> and all the rest of it. Now, I do know for a fact, because John has sent me a little thing here, they do do other shapes as well, which I'm not sure if he's got them in yet, but they are coming in. So you've got this guy, okay, which is obviously just a, a copy of one, okay, and this guy down here. So there is everything, and that's not some throwing star, it's actually it, and I don't know if he's done it, I think, I presume that's inflated a little bit. Um, they're a little bit bigger than what these are, I assume they're all gonna be roughly the same size. But there we go, I think that is probably one of my handy tools. And it sticks to my magnetic strip, which makes it even better, because that means I'm gonna be able to find it. So there we go, as I say, these are made by El El Alec, or Elec, uh, from Japan. Good looking product, I must admit, and as I say, not speaking Japanese, I can't read any of the instructions on it. But anyway, I've got to the grips of it, I know how to use it, and I'm gonna be using it from now on.